In this video, we'll cover inputting methods, how to bring in external data into MATLAB for analysis. Here I have the Excel file open. We've got time, temp A, and temp B as three columns, and the rest of the data is below. This file must be stored in the same folder as the script you're going to use to import it. If we go into MATLAB and look in the current folder, here you can see my current script, inputting methods.m, and there is the temperature data.xlsx that we'll be importing. I have a second section set up here. Here you can see the double percent sign indicating that it's a section. It also has a slight bold to it as well. But in part one, we're going to import the Excel data. Here's the XLS read function, and I've got the argument filled in as the file name. If we run this, and be patient because it takes a few seconds. Finally, here is the data that we're looking for. You can notice that the headers, time, temp A, and temp B didn't get imported, but all the raw data did, and MATLAB has it stored in the workspace as a typical matrix. We don't want to run this line every single time because it takes a long time as we just saw. Thus, we're going to create the separate section for analysis and we'll start off using CLC clear vars except for temp data. Let's run this section and we'll see temp data still exists in the workplace because we did clear everything except for temp data. This is a great way to save time. You can run this first section once and then come in and run the analysis section multiple times. Because the data we brought in is not labeled properly, we'll need to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is transpose the temperature data. Right now, it's all in vertical and I want it to be in horizontal form. To do that, I'll do temp data two equals temp data, and I'll transpose it as such. Now everything is horizontal as opposed to being vertical. Suppress that output, and I want to create my variables time, temp A, and temp B like I had in the Excel sheet. To do that, I need to extract each row one by one. I'll call temp data and then ask for just the first row and all the columns as such. I'll do the same for temp A and temp B. And thus, I'll save the first row to time the second row to temp A, and the third row to temp B. If I run this, I'll see three new variables appear, and these are all coming in as one by 19 matrices. Beautiful. That covers everything for just Excel. Now we'll look at importing a .csv file. Now we'll look at a .csv file. The main difference is that we have the read table function and our file has a .csv extension. I have the .csv here, and if you click and drag the .csv into the MATLAB editor, it will actually open up the .csv and you can view the contents here. If we run this, we're going to get a table read in because, well, <laughs> the function is called read table. Here we see temp data comes in as a table, and we have a table appear in the workspace. We want to do post analysis with this as matrices and arrays. To do this, we're going to call the table to array function on that original temp data, which is a table, and we'll convert it 
into an array and save it as temp data2. Running this, we'll see that we now added temp data2 as an array and we output it to the command window. And here we see temp data2 is an array and it doesn't include those table headers that we had in the temp data table. From here, we'll do post processing. We're going to transpose the matrix to change it from vertical arrays to horizontal arrays. And we're going to take each of these rows, first row, temp A is the second row, and temp B is the third row, and save them into the appropriate variables. From there, we can do post analysis. We run this, and now we have temp A, temp B, and time, all in one by 19 arrays. That covers the .csv imports and the .xlsx Excel file imports, and that's our overview for importing data into MATLAB. What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Thanks for watching.